In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an author bio to boost your Google EEAT score. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. One of the big factors that helps determine where your content lands in Google search results is your Google EEAT score or experience, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness. So Google is concerned not just with the quality of your content, how well written your content is, but also who wrote it. So what can you do to increase your EEAT score? Well, one of the biggest things you can do is to write an author bio so Google knows where the information is coming from. If you want to learn more about writing an author bio, you can check out the companion blog post on our website at aioseo.com slash blog. I'll drop a link in directly to that blog post in the description below this video, and you can read all about the best way to write that author bio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create that author bio in WordPress. So the first thing we're going to do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded and then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab, and then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field, click Connect, and that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you've got All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the Users section. And I'm going to click on this user, Matt. And if you have All-in-One SEO installed, you'll notice there's a new tab up top called Author SEO. So if you just have WordPress installed, you'll see personal options, but with All-in-One SEO installed, you get this new tab, Author SEO. Let's go ahead and click on that tab. And this is where we can fill out all of the information that will provide good signals back to Google to increase our EEAT score. So the first thing is you wanna make sure that the author info is on. So next to where it says enable author info, just make sure that toggle switch is flipped on. If it's not and it's grayed out, you can just flip it into the on position. Below that, you can add your education. So there's a section here that says alumni of. I pre-filled out this information so you guys don't have to watch me type. So I put in the institution, Boston College, and then I put in a URL over to their website. You do not have to put in a URL, but I put in a URL to BC's website. If you went to multiple institutions, maybe you have more than one degree, you could add another item there. If you did that by mistake, just click a little trash can icon and you can delete it. Below that, we have a section for employer. I put in all-in-one SEO. We have job title, developer, and this is where you put in the job title of the author. And then below that, it says knows about, and you can put in skills here and add them in the knows about section. So I put in HTML, CSS, SEO, SQL, .NET Framework. If you wanted to get rid of one of these, you just exit out. And then if I click the drop-down list, I can see all of the topics that are available. I could say I know about development work for Amazon. 
If you want to know where these topics come from, click on this link here that says search appearance, author SEO, author experience topics. I'm going to open that in a new tab so we don't lose our place. And here's all the topics. So if I wanted to add another topic, I could add it here. Let's say I also know Java. I could add that item and save changes. And that item, that topic will be added. That's not going to show up here until I refresh the page, but that's fine for this example. I think we have plenty of skills in the knows about section. You can add an author image here. I've already added a picture of myself, but just like any other area of WordPress, you can upload a file or you can select something from the media library. Below that is a section for the author excerpt. I've chosen to use the author bio here, which is pulling information from below the author bio section. But you can use various smart tags here. If I click the link that says view all tags, these are all the smart tags available. Some of them don't make sense. I don't want to put the current year in for the author bio, but you can use any of these smart tags as you see fit. So the author excerpt will show up on the page that, that you are an author of in a small little compact author bio block. Since my author bio is so small here, it's only two sentences, I'm just throwing the whole author biography in as the author excerpt. But you could also type your own or you could use any of the smart tags. Below that is the author bio. So this is where I talk a little bit about myself or talk about the author. You could be filling this out for someone else. It doesn't have to be about yourself. So I just have a little blurb about education and work experience that is going to send the proper signals back to Google that says I am a competent, qualified author to write blogs on this website. Below that is a very important setting, append author bio to post. Very important, but you don't have to do anything. You can just leave it as use default setting. If you uncheck that, you have the option to enable the author bio for this author to all posts. So using the default setting is saying, I wanna use what I set up when I was setting up All-in-One SEO in the search appearance settings. If you don't do anything and you just leave this alone and you've set up All-in-One SEO to use the author bio, then that's what it will do. So if I unselect that and choose enable, then the author bio will be included on all posts by this author. Alternatively, I could disable it and there will be no author bio for any post by this author. For most people, you're just gonna wanna leave it as the default setting. Below that is social profiles. So this is not the social profiles for your website or brand. This is social profiles for this particular author. So I have the all-in-one SEOs social profile for Facebook in here just as an example. But if this was a specific author, I could call it Matt author or whatever my social profile link is. And we have a ton of social profiles here. So again, this is just sending more EEAT signals back to Google. I'm going to revert that back to our Facebook profile just for this example. And then you can add additional profiles just by dropping in URLs here. When you're all done with this, go ahead and click the update profile button. And then let's head over to one of our posts that I've written. I've written all the posts on this WordPress website, so that's easy enough. And I will pull it up in the browser and show you what this looks like with the author bio. So my all posts section, let's just pull up men's basketball shoes here. I'm going to click the view link. So here's my post about men's basketball shoes. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see this little author bio here. This is cool, but this is just a demo site. Well, how about we check this out on a live site? Of course, we use our own plugin on our site. We use All-in-One SEO on the AIO SEO blog. So if we scroll down on this blog written about this exact topic, about how to add an author bio that boosts your Google EEAT score, we can see that this post was written by Cato. If I hover over his name, I get that author bio excerpt we were talking about earlier. And then if I click the link to see full bio, we get Cato's skills, we get his education, we get some highlights about his career, and we get an about on Cato. If I go back to the main page where the post is, there's another very cool feature in this author bio functionality in All-in-One SEO, and that is that someone can review your content. So here we can see that Cato's article on author bio boosting your Google EEAT signals has been reviewed by Manvi, and Manvi has her own blurb and her own bio. So this will send yet another EEAT boosting signal back to Google that not only is Cato 
qualified to write this article, but that it has been peer reviewed by Manvi and that Manvi is also an expert in her field. I'm back over in the all posts section now of my WordPress website. Let's click on that post we were looking at earlier, men's basketball shoes. And it's very easy to set a reviewer for your post or your content and send one more signal back to Google to boost your EEAT score. This signal is particularly good for boosting your trustworthiness. If we look over on the right-hand section here under post, make sure you're not on block, make sure you're on post. We can see where we set the author. I have two users on this website. I have Matt and I have Bob SEO. So Matt is the author. Below that, there's a section that says reviewer. I can very simply select a reviewer. I've got my email addresses blurred out here, but I can just select Bob SEO as the reviewer. And now we're sending another signal back to Google, particularly focused on the trustworthiness aspect to help boost our EEAT score. Of course, as always, make sure you click the blue update button when you're done to save your changes. So that's how to use an author bio to boost your Google EEAT score. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to use all-in-one SEO with the page builder Avada. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, all-in-one SEO.